All right. Good morning. Today we are going to be doing a beginner total body strength routine. So if you have dumbbells, go ahead and put them to the side. If not, you can do all of these exercises without any equipment. So we'll just start by warming up our body. We'll step side to side, swinging our arms. Good. Just get everything awake and warmed up. Good. And again, we're going to be switching between two different strength exercises. Just do whatever feels comfortable. Um, I'll try to give a modification if it's something that I feel a lot of times will be a little bit difficult for people with either shoulder issues or knee issues. But if not, just feel free to skip it or repeat a previous exercise again. So we are going to start with a tricep extension. So we're going to grab our dumbbells if you have them. We're gonna stand with our feet together, slight bend in the knees, hinging at the waist, weights at our hips, elbows in, extending from our elbow back and slowly coming back in. So we should only be moving from our elbow down, our elbow stays pretty much in the same position. So we're working the back of our arms. Again, you can look forward on the floor if it hurts you to hold your neck up. Good. Keep your elbows close to your body. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven and 12. Awesome, all right, you can put those weights to the side. For the next one, we're going to go into a side leg raise. So if you want to hold on to a wall or a chair to help with balance, you can go ahead and do so. We'll do one side 12 times and then we'll switch to the other side. So we'll start with our feet together, coming out to the side, toe facing towards the front and slowly coming back down. Your toe's gonna wanna go in the direction that you're Kicking, but really try hard to keep it facing forward to really target that outside of your leg. Good. Four. Try to keep your body as upright as you can without tilting to one side. So if you need to hold on to something to help with that, that is totally fine. Good. Seven. Good. Slowly bring it back down. Good. Make sure that standing leg is, the knee is not locked in. Good, two more. Good. Awesome. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side, feet together. Leg comes out, toe facing forward, slowly coming back down. Good. Two. Three. Four, five, good. Make sure you're keeping as upright as you can, making sure that standing leg, the knee has a slight bend just so you don't lock it in. Good, four more. Good. Last one. Awesome. All right, shake those legs out. We're gonna go grab our dumbbells again and go back to the tricep extension. All right, so feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, back flat, weights at your hip, extend from your elbow down and slowly come forward. Good. Two. Three. Four. You should be feeling this in the back of your arms. Good. Good, halfway. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good, make sure that back stays flat. Last two. Awesome. All right, you can put those weights to the side. We'll go back to one more round of the side leg raise on each side. 
So feet together, holding onto something if you'd like. Leg comes out, toe facing forward, slowly come down. And usually when that, you really try to keep that toe facing forward, your leg is not able to go up as high as if your toe is pointed in the direction you're kicking. And that's okay. Doesn't matter how high you get it, as long as you're really focusing on keeping that toe facing forward. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Make sure that standing knee is not locked in. Good. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Shake those legs out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Again, make sure you have a slight bend in that standing leg. Leg comes out, toe facing forward. Slowly come back down. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Check on that toe. Make sure it's facing forward. Make sure that standing knee is slightly bent. Good. Awesome. Four more. Good. Last two. Good. One more. Awesome. All right, shake those legs out. We're gonna grab our dumbbells again. Get in that same position as the tricep extension. Feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist. But this time we're gonna have our weight straight out in front of us. We're gonna pull back, pretend like you're squeezing something between your shoulder blades and slowly come back down. So from the front, you should make sure your elbows are not going out to the side. Make sure they're close to your body, squeezing those shoulder blades together and slowly coming forward. Good. Three. Really focusing on that squeeze at the top. Elbows close to your body. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12. All right, we're gonna keep those dumbbells in our hand and we're gonna go right into a bicep curl. So again, palms facing forward, elbows glued to your body, curling to the top. Make sure that wrists stay straight and are not flopping forward or back and slowly come down resisting gravity. Good. So don't just let those fall down, slowly come back down, good. Three, keep your elbows against the side. Don't let them come up. They might want to a little bit, but keeping them glued as best you can. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Good. Making sure you're breathing. 10, 11, and 12. All right, awesome job. Okay, we'll go back to the row. So feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, back flat, weights out in front. Pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades and slowly come forward. Make sure those elbows stay close to your body. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, good, make sure you're squeezing at the top. 10, 11, 
and 12. Awesome. All right, let's go back and do one more set of those bicep curls. So palms facing forward, elbows glued, curling to the top, and slowly coming back down. Make sure those wrists stay straight at the top. Good. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, good, two more, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. All right, you can put those weights to the side. So the next two we're gonna do are, is a squat, and then we're going to do knee extension. So first, we'll do the squat. So legs a little greater than hip distance apart, toes facing forward, hands wherever you feel comfortable, pretending like you're about to sit down on a chair. You decide how far down you wanna go. Just make sure those knees don't go over your toes. So, and again, like I always say, if you want to actually sit down and do a sit to stand instead, you can do that as well. All right, ready? One, again, check on those knees. Two, you decide how far you wanna come back. Three. Four. Five. Eight, good. Nine, good. Ten, plus two, eleven, and twelve. Shake those legs out. All right, for the next one, if you want to hold on to the wall, you can. What we're going to do is lift that leg up as high as you feel comfortable. We're gonna extend the leg straight and come back to your bent knee. So you decide how high you wanna lift that leg to start. You can stay down here, you can bring it all the way up here, whatever feels more comfortable. We'll do 12 on this side, then switch to the other side. All right, ready? One, two. So you really should be feeling it on your quad, on the front part of your leg. Good, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, good, eleven, and twelve. Shake those legs out, we'll do the same thing on the other side grabbing onto the wall if you need, lifting that leg up as high as you feel comfortable, extend, and back in. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Shake those legs out. We'll go back to the squat or a sit to stand. So, toes facing forward, legs a little greater than hip distance apart, hands wherever you feel comfortable. We're going to pretend like we're sitting down on a chair and slowly coming back up. So you should feel it in your butt, your hamstrings, and your quads. Again, make sure those knees don't go over your toes. One. Two. Good. 
three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, awesome, almost there, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go back to the extension. So lifting that leg up, extend your leg, and back in. Good. Two, again, you decide how high you hold it. Should feel it on the top part of your leg, on your quad. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Eleven. And last one. 12. Shake those legs out. We'll go to the other side. Lift that leg up as high as you can. Extend out and back in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, good, you got this. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, shake those legs out. So the next thing we're going to do is a calf raise. So again, like I always say, pretend like you have a string attached to your head, coming up on your toes, being pulled up to the ceiling, and then back down. So we're gonna do 20 of those calf raises. Again, you can feel free to hold on, especially if you feel like your hips are trying to pull you forward a little bit, really trying to go straight up to the ceiling as best you can. All right, ready? We'll do 20 of these. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, we're going to switch between the calf raises and then we're gonna do an arm circuit. So we're gonna do 20 seconds circling forward, 20 seconds back, 20 seconds pulsing up, 20 seconds C shape. So we're gonna do 20 seconds in each direction, then we'll go back to the calf raises and repeat again. All right, so get ready and go. Little circles forward again, really trying to use your arms, trying your best to not tighten your neck, making sure you're breathing. Good, keep going. Good, we'll reverse in three, two, one, reverse. Good, you got this. We're close to the end. Good, so again, the next move is going to be a pulse up with our palms facing up towards the ceiling in three two one palms up pulsing little pulses doesn't have to be super big 20 seconds here and then we'll make a c shape good good you got this five more seconds three Two, one, C shape, almost an O. Good. 
Good. Last 20 seconds. And we'll go back to that calf raise. Good. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let those arms rest for a second. We'll go back to the calf raise. So pretend like that string is attached to your head. Come up as high as you can and slowly lower back down. Two, again, holding on if you would like. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Nine, remember we're going to 20. Halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, good, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, shake those legs out. We'll go back to do the arm circuit, then we'll stretch. All right, so we'll do the same thing, circle forward, circle back, We'll pulse down and then we'll do the C shape. All right, we'll take like a five second rest and we'll start in three, two, and go. Circling forward. Good, again, trying to not put any tension in your neck if you can. I know it's hard. Trying to really focus on using your arms. Good. We'll reverse in three, two, one. Reverse. Good. Good, you got this. All right, remember the next one. We have our palms facing down, pulsing down towards the floor. Good, we have 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two. Palms down, pulsing towards the floor. Good. Almost there. Again, we just have that C shape for 20 seconds, then we'll stretch. Good. Five, four, three, two, C shape. Last 20 seconds, you got this. Making sure you're breathing. Good. 10 seconds. Three. Two, and one. All right, your arms are probably tired now. We'll do some stretches. So we'll bring that arm across our body. And again, like always, we're just gonna do a little short version of the stretches. Feel free to repeat these again up to 30 seconds or check out one of our specific stretch or our relaxation videos. Switching sides, good. Make sure you're breathing through all these stretches. Even though you're holding the stretch, don't be holding your breath. All right, arm behind your body, grabbing onto your elbow, stretching out that back of your arm, your tricep. Ken still breathing here. Good. Switching sides. Arms come down, so kind of make a circle right in front of you. Dip your head under, stretching out the back of your neck and your upper back. Swing your arms around, opening up your chest. Good. All right, rolling those shoulders forward. Trying to release any tension in your neck, roll them back. Again, only do what stretches feel comfortable. All right, we're gonna do a big head roll all the way around, go very slow. Other way.
All right, good. We're going to come, I'm going to just so you can see my feet. I'm going to have you put your heel on the floor with your toe facing towards the ceiling, reaching for that leg, just feeling that stretch in your calf and your hamstring. You can also do this at the wall, angling your toe up against the wall and leaning into it, whatever feels more comfortable. Good. We'll switch to the other side. Good. Holding here. Still breathing. Bringing your legs together. Slight bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward, letting any tension out, swaying side to side, grabbing onto those elbows. You can make your legs come a little bit further apart if it feels comfortable. And we'll slowly roll to the top and end in a deep breath in, big deep breath in, and we are done. Great job, everyone.